Hello everyone and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. So today I just want to touch on two things that I want to make a point of in this video. Maybe three things. And I'm going to make it short here, no script, so uh, hopefully I don't rant too much. Anyways, let's get into it. The first thing I want to bring attention to again is that everything I say here is criticism. I try not to be clickbaity at all with my titles and if it comes off that way it's just because my opinions can be very passionate. So with that in mind just remember in my last video which uh, is really honestly this video is a follow-up to that one which was Bungie messes up narrative again botches big lore reveal it's because I, I really thought they, they didn't handle the Chioma Essi archived logs in the best way possible. In fact, I thought they handled it like a hot potato that was dropped on the floor and then stepped on. It just wasn't great at all, in my opinion. That's my opinion. You can think it was great, just like everyone you know, had their own opinions about life. While some people thought it was one of the best DLCs ever, and some people, including myself, thought it was one of the worst. So, again, everyone has their opinions in this game. It's a large community, and I respect every single one of them. Just don't try to force your opinions on other people, because then it doesn't turn into an opinion. It turns into, I don't know, you're just being a dick at that point. Anyways, to the point of this video, in the 10th week of the Veil vale Containment Mission Logs from Chioma Essi, from her perspective or sp perspective can't speak right now because i'm <laughs> i'm not too riled up about this honestly this is it's not a small thing because the lore can have some rather large impacts i'm gonna leave bife again to explain that because i don't know everything and it'd be wrong of me to try to explain that to you kind of like the blind leading the blind i only know the basics of a lot of this stuff so don't listen to me completely, or at least take anything I say with a grain of salt here. Um, but I'll leave the Bife video in the description again, so you can go ahead and watch that. He does a much more in-depth job of explaining it. I'm just here to question and criticize why it took 10 weeks of this mission to have this reveal. Because, again, we, we fall back into the... Uh, controversy of why was the witnesses origins cutscene in season of the deep when it would have had much more relevance within lightfall i think there's really two ways you can look at this here they could have put the whole cutscene into lightfall and that would have been that you know no explaining needed but then people would be like well what about season of the deep what's the reason for like connecting asa with sloan and building their bond and you know kind of turn them into like a symbiotic being almost that can at least you know they can communicate through each other well could be to find out more about the witness maybe in lightfall we learn that the witness was the traveler's first victims and in season of the deep we learn what happened you know that the traveler was buried on their planet and they used the veil to create the witness that's something that would make sense right that gives us a reason to play season of the deep and get to that cutscene and it also gives you ample knowledge to want to pursue the witness because we know it has some connection with the traveler that perhaps we don't fully understand but we'll find out you know the, the serialization of the seasons is phenomenal because it does give you a reason to play but the season shouldn't be heavily connected to the expansions like they are because it makes people feel, at least, again, in my opinion, take it with a grain of salt, maybe a dash of pepper, but it, it makes people feel like they're being drip-fed a whole expansion, not a season. And, you know, there was a lot of things that happened in Lightfall, but none of it was super significant, with maybe the exception of the witness going inside the traveler but then again we, we couldn't understand the context of that significance because we didn't have all the information and now that we do we're like holy guacamole this is for real 
And, you know, now everyone is hyped up again for Final Shape, but, again, you know, not to beat up on Nightfall too much. I've already said it was bad, you know, whatever. But again, it, it just made it feel less significant. That's it. Feels like the story in Season of the Deep is vastly superior and much more complicated than Lightfall. So, that's all I had to say. This is, again, just my feedback. Bungie, if you're listening, I hope you at least consider this. You know, the, the experiment you guys are trying with this new way of storytelling, again, it just feels like to me like I'm being drip fed an expansion, which is not what I want. At least, personally, what I don't want. Some people might like that. That, you know, whatever floats your boat, whatever shoots your. I, I don't know. It, it's just like, I, to me, I don't understand why you wouldn't want the full context of an expansion. And, you know, they didn't even need to include the information about the veil in the campaign. It could have been a post campaign thing where we go and we read all of these logs, and it's a weekly thing, and we would have known about it 10 weeks into Lightfall as opposed to 10 weeks into the next season. That, I think, would have been acceptable, in my opinion. Again, I know I'm saying that a lot, but I just want to make myself clear. Let me be clear. Anyways, let me know what your opinion is in the comments down below. And, you know, as much as I think this is a mistake to be releasing the lore this way, with not so many people knowing about it, and also doing it so late in the season when a lot of people are off playing Diablo and other games. Again, people, I mean, people are just going to watch videos like this and then click on the bite video or just click on the bite video because Lord Hattie and they'll figure it out that way, which is great, but they shouldn't have to rely on those third party things. They should be able to experience the story in full in the game. And again, that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> Anyways, I know I've ranted a little bit here, so I'm going to cut myself off there. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content and you'd like to see more. Hit that bell to get a notification when I do some more content. Like if you, again, enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.